Yo, what's up, guys? It's D Brown with Trackheads, and today we don't necessarily have an episode, but I felt like today would be an appropriate day to drop some gems on some on some of you guys um, that watch, that subscribe to my channel, and um, that run track and field or play any kind of sport, um, and that want to get better, and also want to stay healthy. Um, one of the biggest things I've kind of known it for a while, but as I've gotten older. Um, you know, it's something that I always have to keep in mind. Um, the biggest thing um, that I have to keep in mind is that diet is one of the most important things that I have to be aware of, secondary to training, but one of the biggest things that I have to be aware of when I train. So if you are post-collegiate and you're wondering why your hamstrings, like me, if why your hamstrings are, are you know, taking a longer time to recover or why... Um, your body doesn't seem to be recovering as fast as you uh, did when you were younger. Um, the biggest thing that I can really say is to look towards your diet, um, at least if you're like me, right? So if you guys don't know anything about me, you haven't seen any of my videos, um, you know, I've been running track for damn near 20 years, okay? Um, I am 28, and I've noticed that as I've gotten older training, um, it's my, my body has taken a longer time to recover than it has in the past from hard workouts and diet has become the most important thing that I have to be aware of. So one of the biggest things to get to it is that guys, um, be aware of your sugar intake. Okay. I love, I love, I love candy. All right. Candy. I love Twizzlers. I love now I love Laffy Taffy. I love all the soft like texture, like I love candy, period. Sugar is my thing. Candy specifically, not pastries. So, but one thing that that does to your body that a lot of people don't understand is that sugar is, a, is an inflammatory substance, okay? Inflammation basically means that it puts your body in a state of stress, okay? Um, when, like, for example, when you train, like running, uh, lifting, exercising, and you're sore, that means your muscles are inflamed, okay? And when they're inflamed, they they basically take a longer time to recover, all right? They're basically in a state of stress. They can be swollen sometimes. Sometimes they can be have micro tears and they can, you know, have you sore. But basically inflamed means, inflamed just basically means that they're in a state of stress, all right? Um, and, but food can actually do this not just training but food can actually do this all right so when you have things like sugar especially like like uh, candy when you have like pastries sometimes when you have like white foods like uh, that are high in sugar right white bread white rice and things like that um, they but specifically more sugar they can do they can add additional inflammation to your muscles that require your muscles to need more recovery so imagine this imagine that you're training monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and then you have saturday and sunday off right and mind you you're killing yourself like you you know you're you run let's say the 400 or the 800 or you're a miler or you're you know you're you're in an event that it requires five days worth of focus out of you right and it's okay to maybe on a Saturday or Sunday indulge in some candy, indulge in some sweets. But if you find yourself after every single day during the night or you, your daily snack is candy and you're eating candy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? That additional sugar can add to the inflammation that your body's accumulating over time because of practices because naturally like naturally as we get older our body's metabolism and his ability to recover is going to slow down just naturally but if you're having sugar and that inflammation starts to build up because of what you're eating that process is going to be a whole lot longer for example i'm going to take me right um there have been times where like i'm training and i feel my hamstring tweak right after practice like I don't feel it during practice I feel it after practice and after practice I'm like damn my hamstring is kind of sore um man like but I, you know after after I ice it and after I get a good night's sleep I should feel good the next day right and that's happened to me countless times like my hamstring is just a little tight you know I ran some 350s and 
just the you know just the, the soreness has got one of my hamstrings tight so no big deal i ice it the next day i come back i feel great i can do speed work i'm good but there's times where i know where i'm just eating sugar i mean snickers hershey's nowelators um my favorite is like swedish fish i mean in all this sugary candy and stuff right the night that that night that i hurt my hamstring and then the next day all of a sudden my hamstring isn't preparing itself you know my hamstring is tight my hamstring is like a minor strain like i feel a, a big knot on my hamstring and i'm just like why hasn't my hamstring recovered right a lot of times it's because of that extra little sugar that you put in your system is like an inflammatory substance all right um if you guys haven't already check out Check out the difference between, uh, or check out alkaline foods and acidic foods, all right? Um, alkaline foods and acidic foods. Acidic foods are not good for you. Um, you know, they're only, they're, they're like something that you should have as a minority. And the, and the other foods that you should have should be alkaline type foods, like certain fruits, certain vegetables, a lot of vegetables. Um, they said meat's considered acidic, but, you know, some acidic foods have good things for you that it's okay to eat you just have to eat it in small portions in comparison to alkaline food so i don't want this video to go for too long but that's the biggest thing the biggest gem that i've kind of learned this year that i want to drop on you guys definitely watch what you eat especially if you're an athlete and you're trying to figure out why your body isn't healing as fast as it normally does you definitely have to look towards your diet and this is why a lot of professional athletes when they make it to that next level they kind of tell people um especially like kids the biggest thing that they say is hey you need to watch your diet because if you don't watch your diet and don't build up those habits as a kid it's going to be that much harder once you're an adult now for me i can switch it off on and off but um and i'm pretty disciplined when it comes to like handling my diet but for you kids out there definitely keep that in mind for you uh masters athletes open athletes definitely keep that in mind um you know, it, it's, it, it becomes a, a battle because it's like you're fighting against your body's ability to recover um, if your diet isn't the best that it can be. You know, your body only gets good. Your body only gets good when you're able to recover after hard workouts. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. Like I said, take sugar out of your diet. Stay towards alkaline foods. Stay hydrated and make sure that you have the proper recovery um, that you can in order to be successful. And with that being said, it's D Brown with Trackheads. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys were able to learn a lot from uh, this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll get right back to you. It's D Brown with Trackheads. Peace.